Hey everyone, this side Max, welcome back to the channel. If you're a fan of Kung Fu Panda, you're in for a treat today. We're going to dive into Kung Fu Panda 4 and explain the entire story from start to finish. So, sit back, relax, and let's journey with Poe, the Dragon Warrior, and his friends as they face their biggest challenge yet. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. After all the chaos with Tai Lung, Shen, and even the mighty Kung Fu Master, Poe has finally found peace. Has now the respected Dragon Warrior, keeping the Valley of Peace safe and living a pretty chill life with his best friends, the Furious Five. But as we know, peace never lasts long in the world of Kung Fu. The tranquility is shattered when a new villain appears, an ancient master of dark Kung Fu known as Lord John. This guy is no joke. He's powerful, mysterious, and he's come to challenge Poe's position as the Dragon Warrior. Lord John isn't just looking for a fight. He's after something even more dangerous. The ancient power of the Dragon Temple, a mystical force that can give its wielder control over all of Kung Fu. If he gets his hands on it, it could spell doom for the entire Kung Fu world. Poe, however, isn't the same Kung Fu fighter we met all those years ago. He's grown, he's learned, but even as the Dragon Warrior, he has his doubts. The arrival of Lord Jean forces Poe to confront his greatest fear can he still be the hero everyone believes him to be. In a moment of vulnerability, Poe decides to seek out his old master, Shifu, for guidance. But what Shifu reveals shakes Poe to his core. The Dragon Warrior title is not just about strength, it's about mastering balance, both in Kung Fu and within oneself. To face Lord Jean, Poe must unlock a deeper power something beyond just brute force. It's all about inner peace, understanding, and embracing his true potential. Meanwhile, the Furious Five aren't about to sit idly by. Tigress, Monkey, Crane, Mantis, and Viper all have their roles to play. But this time, Poe's journey is more than just physical. He needs their support, their wisdom, and their friendship like never before. They even team up with an unlikely ally Master Ugwe's old disciple, Master Li, a powerful kung fu master who knows the secrets of the Dragon Temple. Master Li's arrival helps Poe understand the true nature of Lord John's threat and what it will take to defeat him. Finally, the time comes for the ultimate showdown. Poe, with the Furious Five and Master Li, faces off against Lord John and his army of shadow warriors at the Dragon Temple. It's not just a physical fight. Poe has to overcome his own fears and doubts, tapping into the inner peace he's struggled to find. In the middle of the chaos, Poe remembers something Shifu once told him. The true power of the dragon warrior lies not in what you can defeat, but what you can overcome within yourself. With his newfound strength, Poe finally defeats Lord John, but not by overpowering him, he defeats John's darkness with light, understanding, and balance. John is defeated, but Poe learns that his greatest victory is finding the balance between his responsibilities as a warrior and his true self. With Lord John defeated, Poe returns to the Valley of Peace, but the adventure is far from over. Poe has learned that being a hero isn't about defeating enemies, it's about embracing who you are and growing with those around you. He's no longer just the dragon warrior, has Poe, the kung fu master who has learned to balance strength with wisdom. And with that, Kung Fu Panda 4 wraps up, leaving us with a new chapter in Poe's journey. What's next for the dragon warrior? Only time will tell, but we can't wait to see where Poe's path takes him next. Well, that's the story of Kung Fu Panda 4. What did you think of Poss latest adventure? Let me know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.